Hello and welcome to discovercars.com affiliate program. My name is Sergey and I'm an affiliate manager at discovercars.com. In this short introduction video, I would like to show you how to navigate around your affiliate panel and how to use different promotional methods, as well as showing you some different uh, reports um, and so on. So let's get started. Once you log into your affiliate panel, you can see at the top uh, left corner your affiliate link. This is your uh, general affiliate link. Once you click on it, you can see that you're uh, landing on discovercast.com uh, landing page with your affiliate ID. This way, we are saving a cookie to your uh, customers or readers' computers, and this way, our system will recognize uh, from which affiliate each cookie came so that we can um, create a commission on your account and you will earn uh, from the, each of, of these sales. Um, there's like another option if you're having, let's say, uh, different uh, affiliate artic different articles about uh, different locations. For example, car rental in Lisbon. Um, you can use a deep link, which will increase conversion rate. So you can head over here to Booking Widget Generator, click on the link. We have this tool combined in here together. So there's like a widget generator tool. You can uh, fill in the details in here and just like get the widget code uh, or simply you will get like an affiliate link. So for example, my affiliate code is cool pin from, from right you can see over here. This is what you create during the sign up. Um, um, we can add a language, currency, uh, select a country. So let's say I'm having a post about uh, Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, so I would go country Portugal, uh, pick a city Lisbon, and an airport, Lisbon Airport. I can now scroll down, make a preview, and you can see there is like a widget already set up with Lisbon Airport with your affiliate code in it. If you click on a search now, you will see on the widget there will be like your source, like A8 code cool pin. That's your affiliate ID. And right here, there is like also an affiliate link, which you can simply copy and, and paste to your website, which goes as a deep link uh, to the car rental at Lisbon Airport. Um, so that is easy to use. Um, also with the widget, you can play with a button title. So let's say it's an, an, by default search now, you can say find the best car rental. And you can also add a title. By default, there is no title, so you can play around with it. For example, car rental at Lisbon Airport. Press on preview and you will get uh, the preview of the widget. You can play with the sizes here uh, at the bottom with the height and width so that it will uh, be the right size for your website as well as you can play with the colors. Let's say I want a title in a different color and let's make it red or whatever it is. And there we go, you will see the letters have changed. So you can fully play around. There's also an option to use, if you're having a website, uh, different articles, let's say um, an article about uh, Portugal, an article about, um, let's say Spain, you can use ad channels. So let's say you wanna use a widget uh, and to keep a track from which page of your website uh, was made a click. So you can go around in your um, affiliate dashboard, go to promotion, add channels. Here, using the instructions, which are uh, right in here in step one, you can click on it. Uh, there is like an instructions made by Post Affiliate Pro how to set up ad channels. And once you've done so, you will have something similar to this. You can use the code here. I've made like AB, a code for about us page. For example, I can place it right in here, add channel code AB, then make a preview. You can see that there is like a link now. It's also in the widget as well, implemented and in the link itself. If you copy the code, you can enter the page and that's it, channel A, B. So after some time, usually within like three to five minutes, uh, the click should appear. I did some clicks before. And if you go to reports and click list, you can see here, I made a click and we are located in Latvia and there's like a click for channel about us. 
this is how it's uh, easily uh, possible to uh, separate statistics with clicks, with commissions, and check which web pages are generating more clicks, more sales, and so that you can actually uh, make some homework and adjust this to improve your conversion rate, let's say, add more deep links, etc. Uh, as an affiliate manager, we're always here to help you, um, we can offer you a free SEO analysis of your web pages where you can promote uh, current, um, current affiliate program to make it uh, better for you, provide you with some tips so that your pages start to generate uh, higher in, um, in uh, Google um, search engine. So that's like one of the things with which you can contact us and uh, ask for help. It will be totally free of charge. We are very interested in you uh, being successful together working with us. Uh, let's go around and, and explore some more of the affiliate dashboard. Uh, you can see here's like a request payment. It's very important that, for example, when it's your first, first ever payment request, there is like an instruction which information needs to be filled in. So for the first time, before clicking the request payment button, please make sure you have all the details uh, necessary for the payout. Uh, we have separated payments if you're just like a physical person, uh, fill in with your full name, legal address, and date of birth, uh, and add some payment details. Or if you're a company, add all information about your company, such as company name, legal address, VAT number, registration number, and we will also require you to provide us like a copy of registration certificate and VAT certificate. This is all needed just to check that you, you're eligible for like, a, let's say, in a European country, uh, so we're making like a 0% uh, a VAT on each invoice and send you the money in full since you're paying the um, taxes in your own country. So this is the pretty standard um, approach uh, and that's my tip. So to make a fully add all information before you request the payment. Uh, this way we can just uh, simply quicker make this your first payout. Uh, and I also wanted to mention that the minimum uh, payment threshold is 200 US dollars. So once you have this number, at least 200 in here, you have uh, in approved commission. This means you are eligible for the first payout. Uh, and all the future payouts are done on an automatic basis every month after we make sales validation. Uh, also, very important point to uh, point out, our sales validation is happening every month in the beginning of each month, and we are validating sales which have happened in, in a one previous period. So let's say uh, in car rental business, uh, the commissions are only paid out when the car rental has been completed. It means, let's say, uh, today is June. So if a customer rented a car in June, and uh, return the car back to the supplier. So we take the whole month of June and we only validate these sales in the beginning of August. So we take this 30 extra days after each month uh, to check if there were, was any fraud, uh, any claims. And this way we are just um, protecting ourselves, uh, our clients, our affiliates uh, from this uh, unhealthy behavior. And then the payouts are made on a monthly basis. All right, so uh, some other things which I wanted to show you, there's also like a contact us form. Uh, you can simply fill it in, uh, send it, and it will land straight into our email inbox. In the reports, when you want to check your sales, you go to reports and commissions, and in here you will be able to find all the necessary information. Uh, you will have as well like a channel and last click data whenever you're like using channels and here we have the extra data uh, let's say extra data one refers to uh, drop off date when the car rental will be completed extra data two for supplier extra data three for location of rental extra data four for car type and duration the functionality here it's uh, not very convenient so you can simply just make an export you can Pick a date format which you need, let's say date created if you want to see the sales in the last 60 days or just today, then you just export it in, in a, um, make sure you, you, you choose the right uh, CSV delimiter depending on your system and make an export. It will just download it to you the CSV and there you can just simply work. 
All right, that's all it is for our small introduction. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please contact your affiliate manager and we'll be able to help you out as soon as possible. Thank you for, it, for your attention and have a great day. Bye.